Last week on the Days of the Bloodlines Lives, Jay Uso made his choice. He stood by his twin brother, Jimmy Uso, and it seemed pretty clearly, actually, that he turned on the current WWE Undisputed Universal Champion, the Tribal Chief Roman Reigns. He turned on Paul Heyman. He turned on Solo Sokoa, and it seems that we are nearing the complete demise of the bloodline, and which is true. The bloodline is not completely dissolved, as it still has Reigns, Sokoa, and Heyman, and much like Evolution was still a thing with, with just Flair and Triple H, much like the New Day was still a faction, even when one of the three guys was injured and it was basically just a tag team, Reigns, Sokoa, and Heyman, they are still the bloodline. But this faction, this group that has terrorized and controlled WWE, but for the most part SmackDown over the past two and a half, almost three years at this point, is far from its strongest days. It's far from its strongest years. Because at one point, the Bloodline had undisputed Universal Champion Roman Reigns. They had the then undisputed WWE Tag Team Champions, The Usos. They had Solo Sokoa. They had Paul Heyman. They had Sami Zayn. That was the bloodline at full force. That, those were their ranks, and they ruled Friday nights. They ruled the island of relevancy, which is no more. And now, heading into Money in the Bank, we are about to get bloodline civil war. Because I'm not sure if it's been made official or not, but it's practically set in stone that the Usos are going to be facing Solo Sokoa and the undisputed WWE Universal Champion Roman Reigns in a tag team match in London for money in the bank. And it's a match that I cannot wait for. I'm just hoping WWE doesn't advertise money in the bank with four main events, much like they did with Night of Champions with three main events. There's one main event. But knowing WWE, they'll probably call the men's ladder match, the women's ladder match, the World's Heavyweight Championship match, and this tag team match, Civil War, as four main events. So again, it's all on marketing, but at the end of the night, there's only, just like there's only one world champion in WWE, there's only one main event per show. And that is going to be at Money in the Bank. So with that said... Can the Usos beat Reigns and Sokoa at Money in the Bank? Should they beat Reigns and Sokoa at Money in the Bank? And the fact of the matter is, the answer to that question is yes and no. Yes, they can beat Reigns and Sokoa. Why? Because the Usos are one of the best tag teams, not only in current WWE, not only currently in the world of professional wrestling, but in WWE's history. They are, if I'm not, if I remember this correctly, they are eight-time WWE tag team champions. They've been tagging together on main roster WWE TV since 2010. That's almost, that's about 13 years at this point, tagging together. So they should have the edge over Reigns and Sokoa. It doesn't matter if Reigns is the undisputed universal champion. Tag team wrestling is an art within itself. So just based on that quote-unquote logic, the Usos should win this match. But again, much like in life, Logic has nothing to do with it. We're, we have to talk about the circumstances. We have to talk about the, the lead-ins and, and, and the controversies, people interfering during this matchup, Reigns and Sequoia cheating to basically, maybe, possibly get the win over the Usos at Money in the Bank. We have to take all of that into account. And much like in sports where you have fantastic athletes Let's call him a Tom Brady, and he's one game. He 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 sends two quarter, two uh, touchdown passes. 
does that prevent him from the next few games doing less than that or or, or, or having less throws than that? No. It's just whatever, however you feel, however you prepare, whatever goes into that game on that specific game day, that's what goes on in this match. And that's exactly what's going to happen at Money in the Bank because I feel, I kind of feel like Reigns and Sakura are going to get the win here. No. I was already wrong at Night of Champions when I said Reigns and Sakura were going to beat Zayn and Owens for the tag team titles. So I might be wrong here as well. For all I know, the Usos might get the win. They might get the pin over Solo Sakura because I don't think Reigns is going to get pinned anytime soon. And that might lead to maybe Jey Uso challenging, finally challenging Roman Reigns once again for the undisputed Universal Championship this time at SummerSlam. And maybe we might get a very traditional, very poetic justice kind of ending in the fact that Jey Uso might be the one to dethrone the tribal chief of his championship. And I wouldn't mind that at all. Because like I said, like I've said in the past, this entire storyline with the bloodline, it has to end with the family just collapsing upon itself. It couldn't come from outside, not with this mafia-based storyline. It couldn't come from Drew McIntyre or Cody Rhodes or Sami Zayn or Kevin Owens. It had to be Solo, Jay, maybe even The Rock at one point a few months back. That That's not a possibility anymore. But still, poetic justice ending for it would be Jay Uso, the man who has been betrayed physically, emotionally, and mentally beaten down by Roman reigns throughout the years the right hand man guilted into being that right hand man for roman reigns jay uso he could be the one to dethrone roman reigns for the championship and money in the bank might be the start of it all with jay uso getting the pin over solo sokoa in london at money in the bank so with that said what are your thoughts on this entire storyline still going on still going strong by the way they're doing Fantastic numbers on Fox Sports, uh, rather Fox, rather, uh, with uh, with SmackDown, with this entire Bloodline storyline. Fans are interested. They want more of this. So we'll just have to wait and see what they give us. So what do you think about that? Jey Uso, is he the one to dethrone Roman Reigns for the championship? Do you think the Bloodline will ever get back to where it fully was? Or, we are, or are we in the final chapters of this historic faction's Rain atop WWE. So with that said, leave your thoughts, comments, and predictions in the comments section below. In the meantime, tune in later on tonight to Fox for another episode of SmackDown. Tune in later on tonight to TNT for another episode of Rampage where, again, I feel like this is a bit of a mistake on Tony Khan's part, but apparently we're going to have the AEW World Champion MJF make its first ever appearance on Rampage. Which is a shame. I'm not a big fan of that. But we'll just have to wait and see how that plays out. So with that said, I'm Alexis Correo. This has been Wrestling Talk. And I'll see you next time.